Here in the Twin Tiers, we're no stranger to flash flooding. Such was the case on the evening of August 8, 2013 in Pine Valley. Yeah, it's a typical summer day in, in that, that we are hot and humid, a lot of moisture in the environment, but we had a cold front that was coming in. That front stalled, and with all the moisture, thunderstorms formed as is normal, but the difference is because of the stalled front, they came over the same area over and over again, and that produced heavy rain. Conditions quickly got worse, and a flash flood warning was sent out by the National Weather Service. National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated flash flooding from a thunderstorm over the warned area. Excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flooding of small creeks and streams. Richard LaPierre quickly realized that he and his family were in danger. The hot bridge on Route 14 had blocked up, which ran over and hit the house on the corner. And then somewhere shortly after that, we figure trees were coming down the creek and we figure a tree got sideways and blew a hole through the berm. And within minutes, you were standing in two foot of water. The danger quickly escalated as water inundated the neighborhood. By the time I got down here, we were listening to the scanner and, and they were actually looking for boats. They were gonna rescue people out of their homes because the water had come up and people hadn't evacuated their homes. So the fire department was asking for boats. Even though this flood resulted in hundreds of thousands of dollars in damage, no lives were lost. But unfortunately, that's not always the case. A flooding is the number one killer in the United States and it's very common in our area. Unfortunately, flash flooding is inevitable. It will occur again sometimes in an instant. So what should you and your family do the next time a flash flood warning is issued for your area? You need to listen closely, you need to follow the directions, and you need to do it in a timely manner. Having a plan and acting quickly can make all the difference. The biggest thing is your life, your family's life, is more important than your personal belongings in your house. Especially if you're told to evacuate, you need to get out. Your life is worth more than the possession. So that's what you need to do. Be prepared to move away from that, that place of flooding to seek shelter uh, in another location. Reporting from Pine Valley, I'm Chief Meteorologist Joe Barris for WENY News.